I am assistant professor of medicine and society. I am also the community director of Neighborhood Help, which is uh, a community-based curriculum that's embedded in the medicine and society curriculum. So medicine and society is a, uh, I guess, an innovative or no novel approach to medical education that seeks to expose students to uh, not only the field of medicine, but to the societal pressures uh, that impact or uh, play a role in the way in which uh, health outcomes uh, are achieved. Uh, you have to look at things like, you know, mental health. You know, if you, you know, if you live in an area where um, uh, you have very few resources or you don't have a lot of um, things at your disposal, like a place to get healthy food or et cetera, then it's very difficult for you to say, you know, eat right. Um, or if you live in a neighborhood and the parks are not safe. So, you know, people don't go to the park because it's not safe. Or if at night when the sun goes down, you don't feel safe. So you don't go out and walk after you come home from work. Um, these are all societal issues that I think a lot of times are overlooked. Um, and they're, they're termed the social determinants of health. We're going to teach students about the social determinants of health. Um, and from that, or emerging from that, we'll have to teach other things that are closely related. Like, um, I, if I don't make you aware, or if I don't consider these social uh, issues or social pressures, um, what are some of the ethical considerations uh, that accompany that? What Medicine and Society is attempting to do is to present the entire picture of health so that physicians, when they are dropped in these types of environments, can now say, oh, I understand all that is going on, and not only do I understand it, I feel equipped to respond to it in a way that is ethical and, and compassionate. Um, students will actually be going in uh, groups of teams, uh, and the teams will include nurses, social workers, um, as we move forward, we'll integrate um, uh, law students and their role in it as well. Um, and they will work as teams to address issues that they find in households that they will be assigned to. These households, they will follow through a three-year period in their medical education. And they will learn what, uh, I guess, the background or the backdrop of uh, the lifestyles of their patients. And so they will... Uh, first to have first-hand knowledge of what life is for their patients. In addition to being exposed to that, they will also learn uh, the various services, whether it be from all of the different fields that they're partnering with, the services available to people who have these barriers. And so they will learn what it's like to refer someone uh, for social services. They will learn what it's like to um, uh, enroll a, uh, a child in a parks and recreation program. Um, they will learn uh, the role of nurses and what they do um, on a day-to-day. -day. And my role in that is, is twofold. First is um, to help prepare them for that experience in the classroom. And then the second uh, role is, is that uh, as community director for Neighborhood Help, it's my job to see to it that the households stay engaged we also have a community advisory team that uh, is managed under this as well. And that advisory team is there to see to it that we have ongoing feedback from the community about um, what they think about neighborhood help, what they feel neighborhood help should be about. Uh, one of the key things that we all share in our vision for medicine and society and this department is that the community is not our um, consumer, they are our partners. And so um, participation at every level is what we're, we're striving for. As we move forward, we hope that this advisory team will become like a, uh, a way for us to teach other communities uh, you know, how to educate students and how to work with universities to improve their communities.